Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. It is game day, Super Bowl 57, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Who are you going for? I am a Cowboys fan, so hmm, we haven't been in the Super Bowl in quite some time. I don't have a team that I'm rooting for, you know, the best team win, but I thought that today we would do a look that represents each team. So I'm going to be doing Philadelphia Eagles on the right eye and Kansas City Chiefs on the left eye. We're going to be working with red and gold and green and white and just so many fun colors today. And of course, we cannot forget the halftime performance. I think that is what I am most excited about because it is the gorgeous Rihanna the owner, the creator, the founder of Fenty Beauty. And we're definitely going to be using some Fenty products in today's Get Ready With Me. If it is your first time here on my channel, I want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and this is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup. You're always going to see the latest and greatest in makeup reviews here on my channel. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes. I do makeup ranking videos. We talk about makeup here. We have a fabulous time while talking about the makeup. If that sounds like somewhere you want to be or something you want to see, I'm pretty much a daily basis I upload a lot of content do me a favor click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you're a fan of football maybe you're going for the Eagles maybe you're going for the Chiefs or maybe you're like me wishful thinking that it was the Cowboys in this year's Super Bowl give this video a thumbs up before you go everything I'm gonna be wearing I will have linked in the description box and some of those things might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel let's get game day ready maybe some of you are going to the game maybe you're at the game oh my goodness how much fun would that be but let's start getting a full face of makeup on and let's get ready to watch Super Bowl 57 if you guys want to see how these two looks are going to turn out. Keep on watching. All right, so a lot of my complexion products uh, are going to be Fenty Beauty, and we're going to start off first with actually one of my favorite primers that's in my stash. I have normal to oily skin, and this does a great job. This is her Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So let me know, what do you guys do for Super Bowl? How many of you guys are barbecuing today? How many of you guys are going to go watch the game somewhere? How many of you guys are at the game oh my goodness how much fun would that be that's definitely a bucket list item for me to go see at least one super bowl live during my lifetime you guys know how crazy expensive the tickets are but yeah that's definitely on my to-do list at some point Next, we're gonna go in with Fenty Ease Drop, and I use the shade three in this one. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. For Super Bowl, I usually, I like to barbecue. I like to do fajitas and chicken. This year, I am not gonna barbecue. I'm not doing anything. I don't really, I don't cook much, but I love to barbecue. And I just, the last year or so, I haven't really gotten a chance to barbecue as much as I would like to. And this year, unfortunately, I'm not gonna have an opportunity to do that. So I'm probably just gonna order some food, um, door dash it, and I'm not gonna get pizza. I had pizza already this week, so I don't know, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll order barbecue from one of our local barbecue restaurants. But let me know what you guys like to grill. Do you guys do steaks? Do you guys do like just keep it, keep it easy, burgers and hot dogs? Maybe you guys don't even do meat at all. Maybe you're doing like a shrimp boil. Ooh, that sounds really good. I love seafood. This Fenty Ease Drop skin tint is just so beautiful on the complexion, and it really is long wearing. I would say it gives you a good medium coverage. Now, I don't have a Fenty concealer in my stash, but I do have their under eye brightener, which I'm going to pair with the new Flower Beauty Get Real Concealer. And in the concealer, I'm going to use Shade Fair. I'm going to go in with the concealer first, and then I'm going to use a little bit of a Bright Fix, which I have in the lightest shade. It's Rose Quartz, uh, right on top of it, especially on the inner corner. I do have a review over all of these products that I have been wearing so far. I have a review over Ease Drop. I have a review over this Get Real real concealer which I've used by the way as a foundation FYI it turned out really great and I also have a review over the Fenty Bright Fix in case you want to check it out I'm gonna use my rare beauty concealer brush just to start blending the concealer I 
Now I'm going to add a little bit of the Bright Fix right under the eye, especially towards the inner corner. And I'm going to use my finger just to pat it in. A small amount of this product definitely goes a long way. You just see it gives that nice little brightening effect. You could totally use this on its own. You don't even have to use it with concealer. You can use it on those no makeup makeup type of days. And it's perfect. Next, we're going to go in with cream bronzer. Of course, I'm going to use the one from Fenty in the shade Butter Biscuit. And I'm using my Smashbox cream cheek brush to apply. I also have the Fenty, it's the Sunstalker palette. It's like a powdered bronzer and highlighter palette. Um, I think there's some eyeshadows in there as well. I brought it out um, so I could use like maybe the highlighter from there or use the bronzer, the powder bronzer to kind of set this bronzer. If you're gonna be maybe doing your makeup along with me for the big day, you definitely want to make sure it stays in place because the game's not going to be over until like, what, 8.30 maybe, 9 o'clock. And you might be getting ready in the morning. So you want to make sure your face of makeup is going to last. So layering your products, like doing a cream bronzer and then a powder one on top of it, that'll really help. Same thing with the blush. And definitely use your setting spray if you're able to. I would definitely touch up throughout the, the day. It might be warm where you're at. It's not too warm here. I think we're gonna be in the 60s or 70s for game day. It's a beautiful day today. So I'm hoping it lasts for tomorrow. Now I'm just gonna take the bronzer like right to here. I've been mentioning this in my other videos, but I'm gonna kind of just refrain from bringing bronzer and contour down. I really want to play up blush this year, so that's why I'm just kind of keeping it to a minimum. Don't mind doing a lot of bronzer on my forehead, even on my nose, but I kind of want to leave the cheeks free for just blush. I mean, there's so many blushes coming out, especially cream blushes. I uploaded an Instagram reel and a YouTube short featuring some new Tarte blushes, particularly their new Shape Tape blush wands. I think that's what they're calling it, or blush tape is what they're calling it. So definitely check that out because I got two of the, the three shades. Now for blush, another one from Fenty. The shade I'm gonna go in with is called Fenty Glow. I got this little Fenty Glow blush in a duo or trio of products. I don't remember, it was around the holidays, but it was last holiday season. Did you guys see that Fenty released the little football shaped makeup sponge? I thought that was so cute. And then she also dropped some new liquid lipsticks, which I would have gotten one for this video, but none of my uh, local Ulta's or Sephora's had it in store and so by the time it would have come in it wouldn't have arrived in time for this video i kind of just thought of this video uh towards the end of this past week and so yeah these products just came out those lips liquid lipsticks came out uh i think it was on friday and it's saturday when i'm sitting down to film this video so i still want to try them though Okay, so I think I'm done with all of the cream products that I'm going to go in with. So now I'm going to set the complexion and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I'm just pressing over everything so it's as seamless as possible. There's no little water droplets. Loving the way this glowy complexion is looking, but we definitely need to set set the makeup and I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty uh, I always forget easy bake loose baking and setting powder and I use the shade sugar cookie in this one Now this is the Sunstalker palette. This is the one I was telling you about earlier So I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, This shade actually no this shade right here to kind of just set the bronzer on the nose and on the forehead and then I'm going to use this shade right here as a highlighter. I'm just using my BK 108 brush just to lightly set. I don't have Fenty Glow. I don't know if they make it in a powder. 
So I'm not going to set the blush. And I'm going in with that highlighter on my Rare Beauty highlighter brush. I do have another Fenty highlighter here in front of me that I might incorporate in the Chiefs look because it's Trophy Wife and that is a beautiful gold highlight. So we'll see. Now I'm going to go back in with Fenty Glow Blush just to lightly blend the highlighter and the blush together. Okay, guys, I'm loving this glowy complexion. I'm going to take care of brows off camera. I don't have any Fenty brow products, but I'll be right back, and we'll start creating the two different looks. Okay, so brows are on, and I've already primed my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Intrudes Primer. So I'm going to be going in with two different palettes. For the eagle side, I'm going to use Dark Fantasy from Beauty Bay, and you can see why I'm choosing it, because it has that emerald green, the lighter green, it also has a matte white and a matte black in it. This palette is on sale right now for right under 11 bucks. And in case you're wondering, I did order the new Beauty Bay palette that came out, but it got returned to them. I, I don't know what happened, it never left the UK, so please don't be waiting for a review on that palette from me, because I, I didn't reorder it and I don't have plans to reorder it either. For the Kansas City Chief side, I'm going to be going in with the Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny collab palette, and this one is the Spooked palette. I'm choosing this palette because of the red, because of the orange, because of this beautiful duo chrome that's in here, and of course, because of the black, it also has a matte white. So I think this palette is perfect for a Kansas City Chiefs look. Let's get started. We're going to start first with the Eagle side, which is going to be the right eye, and I think I'm going to go in first with the matte white white and really build it up in the inner corner. And I'm taking the shade on a refer 12. I have a three day weekend this weekend. So I'm off on Monday from work. And one of the things that I plan to do aside from just, you know, relaxing and stuff, I need to wash my brushes. <laughs> I just need to do a little bit of spring cleaning here in my filming room. Love that white. So, so much. Now I'm going to go in with this green shade right here. This one is called Plasma. Oh, and the white was called Atmosphere. And I'm taking Plasma on a Refer 01. Now on a BK211, I'm going in with that dark forest green. This one is called Spaced. I'm so glad the Eagles have green as one of their colors because you guys know I love creating green eyeshadow looks. I'm going to wing it out a little bit just because Eagles have wings. I think I'm going to bring that green down some. Use this little BH Cosmetics pencil brush. I'm going to touch up the white with the Refer 12. You know, should we leave it an all matte look? I'm tempted. I'm very, very tempted because I love the blend I was able to achieve. Um, we do have, we have this really pretty shimmer, but is this more blue? It's more silver. I think the green, Maybe right there, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, hmm, what do I want to do? Does the spooked palette have, you know, it doesn't have like anything silver. I guess I'm going to do a little bit of that silver shimmer called Code. I'm just going to do a little bit right here. Oh, yeah, that's fun. I'm not going to do it for the inner corner though. I just want something fun on the lid. Now you could skip this step. You don't need to do it. I think the look looked really good without the shimmer, just on its own with the mattes. But you know, it's a special occasion. 
dress things up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. So I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna add some eyeliner, mascara, maybe some falsies. Why not, right? And I'll be right back to show you the completed Philadelphia Eagles look. Okay guys, so here's the completed Philadelphia Eagles inspired look. What do you guys think? Uh, mascara I'll be using in today's video is one of my new favorites from Give by Gwen Stefani. Uh, I, of course, added lipstick, and you guys know I'm using the Fenty semi-matte lipstick. This is in the shade MVP. Love this one. She has a really nice uh, semi-matte lipstick formula, and the packaging is really pretty. Uh, these come in like matte black and red. I have the original case it came in. Really cool, really cool. I am going to add some gloss balm towards the end of the video, and of course, it's going to be in the shade Fenty. Glow. They did release a special edition of Gloss Bomb also in Fenty Glow for the Super Bowl um, and it has some type of like little football uh, design on it or something like that. The lashes I'll be using in today's video are my favorite from Shop Miss A and they are my Alexis lashes and for the lower waterline I opted just for a simple matte white liner from ColourPop. Uh, what shade is it? It's shade... No, oh, I don't know. It's already come off, but it's their only matte white one that they have. I love the way this look turned out. I love it. I'm having so much fun with this. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on the Kansas City Chiefs look. All right, so now we're going to dive into the Spooked palette. How many of you guys picked this one up? This was one of my favorites for Halloween 2022, just for fall 2022. I think this was just such a well thought out palette. And again, congratulations to Gourmand Girls, Christina, the owner, and Angela, who is doodles by the bunny for creating this masterpiece. Um, Kansas City Chiefs are, they're like a red orange, I guess, uh, with a little bit of gold. There's also some white and a touch of black in their colors and their logo and stuff. I definitely want to use this duochrome here. Um, of course, we're going to use the red. We'll probably end up using the black as well. I love that we're getting a white, but I am going to start off with this shade right here. This is an orange shade and it's called Haunted. And I'm using a BK212. What kind of side dishes do you all have? for your Super Bowl party. What kind of dips do you all make? I've always loved trying different dips, whether they be for chips or veggies or whatnot. I mean, just something different than like a salsa or guacamole or, you know, like a cheese dip. Um, my friend used to make one that had cream cheese with like a raspberry chipotle dressing on top of it like i think it was just like the block of cream cheese and that, or maybe you sliced it and then you just drizzled that dressing on top that was so good a little bit of like sweet and spicy i was thinking about that this week maybe i should maybe i should make that okay love this shade it's not a in your face orange but it's definitely gonna go with what we're gonna be creating today now on a bka 502 i'm going in with the red and the red is called terror i'm really gonna focus this in the crease the lower part of the crease and on the lid as well and on the outer corner i will bring in the matte black if you have this palette, don't be afraid to use it in the middle of summer. Please don't. This color story is definitely year round. Don't reserve any of like your Christmas theme makeup or Halloween theme makeup just for that season. Definitely pull them out. Use them because chances are you paid a pretty penny for them. And I do have a code with Gourmand Girls. It is Steph, Steph or Steph 10. And it will give you 10% of anything you want to order, 10% off anything you want to order on that website. So all my codes and everything are always in the description box. I'm going to add a little bit more of the orange, the shade Haunted. Now on a refer 13, I'm going in with the matte black and the shade is called Spook. I'm gonna go back in with Terror, which is the red. Just kind of blend on top of the black a little bit, just to kind of soften it. Yeah, 
I think we're getting a good blend there. We're going to cover some of that with shimmer anyway, so I'm not going to be too, too, um, too perfect on it. So let's go in with this. Yeah, this is going to be really pretty on the lid. And we also have this one over here. And we also have like that red. Now that's too pink. I'm not going to do that one. All right, so I'm taking the shade Pumpkin on a damp Morphe M124. I need to bring in some more gold. I will. Oh, that is so pretty. We're going to have like a green shift. Didn't, I love it, but I didn't necessarily want the green shift. It's picking it up because of the black. That's what's so cool about like these duo multichromes. They have a life of their own, or a mind of their own, I should say. They just, they take on whatever's underneath. I'm going to add a little bit of that shade Spirit on top. Adding a little bit of the matte red. Okay, so while I love the way this look is turning out, it's not necessarily the gold I was looking for. I think this is more of what I had in mind. This is uh, the Fenty highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. So I'm going to see if I can layer this on top. I'm going to spray the brush or at least do, yeah, this is what I was looking for. There we go. Yeah, I'll need to fix the mat, but this is the gold I was I was looking for. For me, it's a little too dark for my cheekbones. I mean, I've still worn it, but it definitely looks better on the eye. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna bring some of that red down. And I'm using a Ruffer 26. Okay, guys, I'm going to take care of the finishing touches off camera, and I'll be right back to show you the completed Chiefs look. Okay, guys, so here's the completed look for the Kansas City Chiefs. I went ahead and added the Fenty Gloss Bomb over the lipstick. I love it. I love it. It even just kind of changes the, the lipstick color just a little bit, makes it a little bit brighter. Um, same lash, same mascara. For the lower waterline, I went in with an LA Girl Neon Shockwave Lip Liner. This is in the shade Outrage, I believe. Yeah, Outrage. It's like a red-orange shade. Perfect, I think. Perfect for this look. I had so much fun with this. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video, and I'll just share with you guys my final thoughts on everything. All right, guys, so here is my Super Bowl 57 game day makeup look. Pick your player. Are you Philadelphia Eagles? Are you Kansas City Chiefs? Or are you like me, wishing that the Dallas Cowboys were in the Super Bowl this year, the way we've been wishing for all of these years to see our boys back in the bowl game? Maybe next year? Who knows? Fingers crossed. But let me know your plans for today's Super Bowl. Let me know, of course, which look you like best. And leave a heart in the comments the color of your favorite football team, even if it's not one of these that's in the Super Bowl this year. Just whatever your favorite football team color is, leave it in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is y'all are at. Stay hydrated, especially on game day, guys. Cheers. Drink that water. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.